for the second part of the video, I'm going to prove what the limit as x approaches the zero, 1 minus cos x over x equals. This is very important to know because um, in my next video, I'm going to do the how to find uh, the derivative of uh, sine of x and cos of x, and you need to know this. All right, so let's begin. So we know that the limit as x approaches zero of sine x over x just equals one. So let's let's try to fit in the sine of x over x there. What we can do is we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by one plus cos of x. And we get this. And this will be equivalent to that because these just cancel out. Now if we distribute, we get on the top side, one minus cos squared x. And this is just, let's keep it as x, one plus cos x. But remember, one minus cos squared x also equals sine squared x. From um, sine squared plus cos squared equal one. If you move cos x, uh, cos x squared to the next side, the other side, you get that over x, 1 plus cos x. And then finally, we get this, lim as x approaches 0, sine x times sine x over x times 1 plus cos x. Well, sine x over x just approaches 1, and sine x approaches 0. So we can take this out. And finally, we get that this is just 1 times sine of x is just 0 over, if you plug in 0 here, we get 2, which just equals 0. So the limit of 1 minus cos x over x equals 0. Thank you.